Kitchen in Eden with Diana Rose. Today we're going to be making shrimp Mozambique. It's a traditional Portuguese dish. Um, it's a spicy shrimp dish, um, usually served over white rice with a um, vegetable on the side. Okay, so here are the ingredients we're going to need for the dish. You're going to need a pound of peeled shrimp with the tails left on, chopped onion, garlic, fresh parsley, two packets of Saison Goya, salt, pepper, crushed red peppers in a jar, the wet ones, and Tabasco, olive oil, butter, and white wine or beer. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by mixing some ingredients. This is gonna be like the seasoning bowl. So we're gonna put the garlic in the bowl, the garlic, um, which, uh, I would say like about four cloves of garlic you want to chop up and about a tablespoon of fresh parsley. Put that in a bowl there with the two packets of the saison. Okay, and then the Tabasco, you can put anywhere from 7 to 12 drops of Tabasco sauce, depending on how spicy you like it. And about a tablespoon of the crushed hot red peppers. That also will give it a good spice. <clears throat> And then some salt and pepper. And I really don't have um, a measure, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe a half a half a teaspoon of each, give or take. And you can always add the salt and pepper as you're cooking when you taste it for flavor. Okay, so now we have all the ingredients in the flavor bowl. We're just gonna mix it up. <clears throat> Mix up, and it's, it's gonna stay in there and it's gonna flavor while we're um, starting with the other ingredients in the frying pan. Okay, so next we're gonna go over to the frying pan. So follow me over here. We're gonna put it on about a medium heat. So we have a half stick butter. about a quarter cup of olive oil, olive oil or so. <clears throat> we need a spoon. A spoon. We need a spoon. I don't have spoons. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what did we do? Ah. Uh, Okay, so now we're just melting the butter and heating the olive oil. And come in and see. And the olive oil gives it such a distinct flavor. <clears throat> and once that's all melted, we're going to add the onions and we're going to be cooking them until they're tender. So I'm going to add those onions right in. I'm going to cook those onions probably two to three minutes on about a medium, medium flame. If you follow my channel and you notice my Portuguese recipes, a lot of the recipes will start with onions and olive oil and garlic. And that's where the uh, Portuguese flavor comes in. So I'm just going to kind of let that simmer a little bit for a few minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now and we're going to add the ingredients of the seasoning bowl. 
are the flavor bowls. <clears throat> the Mozambique flavor when you add that bowl. And we're going to simmer this about another two minutes or so. Alright, so it's been about two to three minutes um, that we added the um, flavor bowl. And now the ingredients have been really simmering and sauteing. So I'm going to take a, um, a potato mash and I'm just going to Kind of really mash up that onion. So I'm going to try to get that onion really mashed good. or wine. I have today wine, so I'm going to add um, about nine ounces of Pinot Grigio wine. <clears throat> or ten. So now we're adding the wine. The flame. It's still about at about medium. Scraping the sides. Maybe hit it with a masher a little bit more once you've added the wine. The difference between the wine and the beer, um, if you have a celiac disease uh, or the celiac disease, beer um, is not gluten free, so you'd be better off using the wine. Um, today I'm using the wine just because that's all I have in the house is wine. So we're going to let that simmer at about medium, cover it, and let that simmer about two to five minutes. Okay, so now it's been simmering for a while. I'm gonna lower the heat just maybe to like a medium to low. Nice and mashed up. My mom always makes sure that I mash the onions really well because it thickens the broth. Okay, so we're gonna add the shrimp. You want to saute it for about three to five minutes on each side. So what I do is I try to make like a good even flat layer. That way it can cook well on each side cooking the shrimp throughout. Okay, it's been about four minutes or so, so I'm going to just stir it up. Flipping the shrimp over to the other side. See how it's getting nice and red and juicy? smell the, the, the flavor in this. So we're just going to toss it up, flip it over to the other side and let it simmer for another three to four or five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. I'm going to check on the shrimp and it looks like it's just about done. Beautiful. The shrimp mozambique is now done. So we're going to shut off the heat here and we're going to serve it over some white rice which we have cooked on the side and it's just going to be delicious a Portuguese cuisine <laughs>